What's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to download Dreadzone online so you can play Ratchet Deadlocked with the best graphics. So go to the search bar, type in rac-horizon.com. We're going to download the Windows client, so press the Windows logo, scroll down to this VC, your drive, make a new folder, and name it Dreadzone Online. And save it there. Go to File Explorer, this VC, drive, there's no online and double click the installer. When it says this, click more info and run anyway. Now for the install directory, just browse, go to this VC, Dreadzone Online folder, and install. This will take a while. All right, when it says installation complete, press OK. Allow these two things to be checked and press finish. All right, now we're in the application, press close. This is going to update all the maps. This will take a while. All right, now that the maps have been updated, press OK. And now we're going to need two things, the deadlocked ISO and the PS2 BIOS. So go to File Explorer and the root of the folder, put your game and BIOS in there. I can't show you where to get them, but once you do have them, put it in there. Go back to application, BIOS, browse, go back. And we're good. Same thing with the ISO. Click the folder and open. All right, now that we're good. For general, Discord, I keep rich presence on. HUD scale as I want. It could be how big or small you want your HUD to be. Same thing with radar. Hill opacity, if you can't see anything outside the hill, let's lower this. I'm going to disable FPS counter. For monitor, since I'm on 144 hertz, I'm going to match it with my target frame rate as 144. Disable VSync, screen mode, full screen windowed, resolution, all the way up, and apply. Um, my quality will be on high. My render scale, this is the main thing. If your PC can't handle it, lower it at 0 0.5 or 0 0.6789, get the deal. Right down here. Audio, I'm gonna lower the master and a little bit lower the music. Cosmetics. There are some funny cosmetics as you can see here. Steve head. I'm gonna pick the googly eyes. Same thing with the swords. I'm gonna pick the diamond sword. Looks funny, man. Controls. Um, you can adjust your mouse and keyboard sensitivity here. Same thing with your mouse and keyboard binds. Since I'm on controller, I don't need to do anything. So down here, where it says um your controller, uh, change the values to zero for the smoothest experience. You won't get any stick drift or anything. For emulator, um, leave it at custom. For EE cycle rate, leave it at 180 as a minimum, but it goes all the way to max percent. So your CPU has to be really strong for this or else it will actually make it worse. Uh, leave it at 180 if it's not that strong, but since my CPU is pretty good, I'll leave it at max. Optimal frame pacing. Um, enable this if you want the least amount of input lag, but it can make you crash. So if you're playing a game mode like survival, I would recommend unchecking this. And we're good here. Click apply. And then let's play. All right, select online play. And network setup. Add setting. Memory card one. This menu is really loud, by the way. All right, go right. So this go right. So that go right. So this go right. So this go right. Alright, press X, name your setting. I'm gonna name it online. Press, o press X to save it. Alright, let's exit, go back and quit.
All right, select a network configuration. Let's create a new profile. I'm gonna make a throwaway account for this video. Camera speed max. For password, make a secure password. I'm gonna lower music and I'm gonna use the muscle for this video. And we're good. Create a ratchet deadlock save file. And then log in. Account all found, let's create an account. Accept, next. This is downloading all the patch, patch settings for the game. This is downloading all the maps. All right, let's actually log out and then edit our profile. And could choose a higher camera speed. I usually play a 350. All right, let's log back in. All right, press start to open the patch menu. These are all quality of life changes. We have the Europe server. Uh, announcer on all game modes, I have this on. There's some funny messages like, you got wrench, you got sniped. That's embarrassing, all that. A camera pulling off, camera strike off. Field of view, I usually play at negative one, but I'm gonna do zero for the video. I feel like zero is too much, so that's why I play on negative one. But zero is perfectly fine. And this is my cycle order, because I'm a competitive player. Fusion reticle, if you need a reticle on your screen to help you aim, since the fusion doesn't have one, you could select this option. I don't need it. Uh, the minimap options don't work for Dizo, it's only for the emulator, since it's a different view. Single player music on, single tap charge boot on, spectate mode on. Alright, let's create a game. Alright, so for this video, I'm only going to use a custom or a vanilla map. But I'm going to scroll through all the custom maps we have. It's quite a few. And then for Deathmatch Override, I'm going to scroll through all the game modes we have for Deathmatch game mode. Survival is the most important game mode for people who are looking to get like a zombie type of feel. Uh, it's awesome. Alright, I'm going to scroll through all the game role settings. These are all quality of life. New player sync is awesome. Eliminates lag completely. And we're done. Those are all the settings currently available. For the preset, I'm gonna do 1v1. We have a competitive preset, but I'm gonna do 1v1 since I'm in deathmatch. I'm gonna select a red team. I'm gonna start. This is the deadlocked dread zone online loading screen. It's very cinematic. Shout out to Dan for making this happen, man. So good. So awesome. All right, and this is Dread Zone Online. Mode, be the first to score the specified number of kills to win. Completely revamped graphics. Just amazing. Um, I could show you the difference. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, ignore the messed up textures. This is just part of having the max percent cycle rate. But you can see the difference, honestly. Look at that, man. Just amazing. There's no input lag at all. Feels just fine. Use jump pads to access higher areas. And it's honestly just the best way to play Deadlock, man. 
There's no complaints I have at all about this. So yeah, if you're looking to play Deadlocked, download Dreadnought Online is the best way to play. Shout out to Dan for making this happen. And yeah, download it. Hope this video helped you out. And let's get some games.